Uh, my family wanted to swim at the beach and they need someone to look after their stuff when they go in the water. So that's me. So we're down here. Pretty good ride. So I'm here thinking about Philippians chapter 3 as one does at the beach. There's that one where Paul lists all of his achievements, all of those things that he would claim as being the things that make him somebody. And he says that he considers all those things loss for the sake of knowing Christ. We read it as Paul saying those things don't matter or they mean nothing. But the word he uses is actually loss. He's not talking about those things being nothing. He's talking about those things being in the negative column. Those are things that are detrimental to his view of the world and his view of himself. And I think that's a really awesome reminder that we'll often, although we say we value Christ most highly, we will often have a list of things that we also think set us apart, that we also think make us valuable, that we also think raises our status. And Paul's trying to remind us that those things are often an obstacle. Those are things that sometimes cause us to see ourselves incorrectly, cause us to undervalue the things that genuinely matter and to keep reasserting those things in our lives that that make that bring the self to life and he's calling us to renounce that stuff to put ourselves on the same level as those we see around us and to value the gospel above everything else thanks that's all i got